Welcome back to the Fun Astrology Podcast for Wednesday, July 10th. Thomas Miller back with you, and we're going to dissect the day energetically, get you started off on the right direction. And there is quite a bit to talk about today because, first of all, there's more red in the chart today than blue. You know, my highly sophisticated astrological system is you just look at the aspects. If there's more red than blue, then you've got kind of a negative day. And Mercury is in retrograde. So everybody's like, (coughs) but you don't have to be because we're going to help you get through it. So let's start to pick apart what's going on in the skies today. I am still really just almost constantly uh, mystified at how this Saturn-Pluto conjunction is starting to slowly and methodically chip away at people's lives. Because the theme of all the people that interact with Majana and me both through our other podcasts, Life After Life and Subconscious Mind Mastery, people are feeling this energy of this Saturn-Pluto conjunction that happens to be sitting right now across from the sun, the north node, that's the purpose, the soul purpose, the karmic purpose that you crafted before you came here is pointed at the North Node, Saturn and Pluto and the South Node sitting right across from that, just pulling on you to pull you in this direction of transformation. And then, yes, we're throwing Mercury and Mars. So there's your communication, your learning, like your voice in the world. And Mars, your power, right now are cranky with the moon That's your emotions and your hidden unconscious subconscious side. And Uranus, that's just the crazy wild stuff that happens for no reason that it's just going to happen. And all of that is in a big ball of knot today. Again, I say if I had a yacht, (laughs) I would be on it for the next three weeks. Oh, Lordy. So if you're feeling this pull and you, you might not even think that you are, But if you're feeling this tension, it's like the universe is trying to methodically get your attention to sit down and do some soul work. I'm going to do a podcast, and I'll let you know when it comes out. It's going to be in the next couple of days on my Subconscious Mind Mastery podcast. That's going to be a really cool look at the soul's perspective on this whole thing called our life and how you could use even the next six months, because really after we get through with July, we're going to be transitioning out of this wonky cancer energy that's been with us for the last about 90 days. And we're going to get into Leo's fire for summer Leo season. And we also kind of turn the corner. Not that Pluto and Saturn go go direct anytime soon. They don't. Jupiter will in August. Those two planets will be later on in the year. But when they do turn direct, then the race is on for them to intersect each other in January, early January of next year at 22 degrees Capricorn. And that's the big one. I mean, that's the big transformative energy that we're all feeling. It's just what what you're doing with it. So the issue today would be heads down uh, on anything communication again. This whole Mercury thing, really, the rest of July is going to be a focus, I think, on how we communicate. I think that's what the energy of this Mercury retrograde is going to be working with us on is how we use our tongue and right now some weird stuff could come out of your mouth. It could be emotional, it could affect emotions, or it could just be snappy, Mars. But that's the T-square that we have in place, and Mercury-Mars sitting basically still on top of each other is at the top of that T-square. So the T-square is a triangle, so Mercury is square with the moon, Mercury-Mars square with the moon, and square with Uranus, which means the moon and Uranus are across from each other, they are in opposition. So there's your triangle, the base of the triangle, the moon on the left, Uranus on the right, the top of the triangle, Mercury, Mars. And just like we had uh, T-square yesterday with the moon and 
and uh, let's see, what else was involved in that? The Sun and Saturn. This one will move off today, so this is another just today thing, but just uh, a great day to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then say your piece. And make sure you've taken that breath. <laughs> and just be careful what you say, you know, be calculated. That's the thing. That's the takeaway today. Calculated communication. Do that and you'll get through it just fine. I love your journey. Thanks for sharing some of your day with me. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.